roughly speaking algorithm is a sequence of instructions that must be accomplished to solve a well formulated problem we can identify the problem in terms of inputs and outputs and then algorithm method will translate inputs into the output a well formulated problem is unambiguous and precise and has no chance for misinterpretation for this purpose we need some entity to solve the problem and for this purpose we can use either humans or computers humans can be used and they can write on the paper the set of instructions one by one in an orderly manner but generally the humans are slow and they can make a mistake every time and they are generally do not like to repeat the one step again and again on the other hand computers are either computers are definitely less intelligent but they can solve the problems very efficiently and quickly and they do not make mistakes so computers are, as computers are less intelligent so they do not know the english language so we have to translate the english instructions into some specific language in a computer language either c or java or some other language so the instruction must be very clear so that all the steps could be recognized by the processor of the computer so in order to understand the functioning of the algorithm we must know the method in which the algorithm is written so algorithm is a set of instructions and for writing the set of instructions we use in the computer scientists use the pseudo code pseudo code is a language used to write the algorithm in a very descriptive manner but it is less descriptive as compared to the computer language like c and java so in pseudo code is a very precise language that explain the step by step functions to solve a problem so sometimes there are many complex problems but these complex problems cannot be solved by the algorithm so the problem is divided into further smaller parts and these are called mini algorithms and these mini algorithms are is termed as subgroups so in some algorithms we need to know some basic terminology like uh, variables arrays and arguments so if we see about the variables it is written as x or total so variable is a term in which we assign some numerical value to the variable and this numerical value can be changed and definitely it changes during the process of algorithm so an array is an n element and is a, a collection of some specific numbers so n variable as we can see here so n variable are represented as a1 a2 to an and generally we represented it with a is equal to a1 a2 and an and if we see a specific element for example a1 out of this array then we represent a1 as a i where i is any number from 1 to n and the last is the arguments and the argument is in algorithm in pseudo code it is denoted by the name the algorithm denoted by name and it is followed by the arguments so in this example we can say that for example if we want to calculate the maximum value this is the name of the algorithm and then we have to calculate which one is the smallest either 1 or 80 so 1 and 80 is the arguments and the answer is 80 so 
So, we can say that the argument is the name of the algorithm that is donated by 1 and 80.